Great Britain invented the railways. In 1825, the first public railway opened between Stockton and Darlington. That 12-mile journey took just two hours, and the industrialists could see the future. Within a few years, the great cities of the North and Midlands were connected by the expanding rail network. Trade and jobs flourished, and the railways quickly became the nation's arteries, fueling not only transport and travel, but economic growth and innovation. The railways became the ultimate expression of our industrial prowess. Today, we have one of the busiest networks in Europe. Last year, there were 1.5 billion journeys made in this country. And in the coming years, the demand for rail travel will continue to grow, putting ever more pressure on the network our predecessors built. And you know, over the last decade, we've quietly been doing extraordinary things in this country. We built HS1 to form a high-speed link to Europe and transformed St Pancras and King's Cross to make world-class stations. We created the Olympic Park and put Stratford on the world map. And we're building Crossrail, the biggest infrastructure project in Europe. And now HS2 will be our next great engineering feat, one that will define the 21st. Torians did. <laughs>